Garlic mustard on the side is not a choice at the corner deli. It's a call to action as the invasive species crowds into woods and grasslands across Iowa. The seemingly innocent plant with delicate white flowers looks pretty enough by itself, but a healthy stand of garlic mustard causes big problems. You know, there's Solomon's seal, you know, there's Dutchman's breeches out here. Um, and this plant can just destroy all of that in a matter of, you know, a couple of years. So, you know, yeah, you gotta pull it. <laughs> As it spreads, it shades out those other species, even seedling trees that should replace these mature ones over time. Also, native wildlife, everything from white-tailed deer to insects at the bottom of the food chain, have to look elsewhere for nutrition. And it's not as easy as just pulling it and dropping it. If you don't uh, bag it in a garbage can or a sack, it will still produce its seed. So just don't uh, pull it up by its root and throw it back down because you really haven't gained anything. Not what European settlers had in mind when they brought it over from the old country. They knew it as a mild spice and used it in cooking or just to brighten up the yard and garden. Once turned loose, though, it spread like, well, a weed. It'll shade other plants, native plants, so it won't get the sunlight that they need, and they'll die out. That's why community groups and park volunteers get together each spring, making sure they don't pass the mustard, but clean it up instead, helping out the natural plant community.